Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. I know that the stereotype for my channel is that I'm too negative. I'm too critical. I need to just be thankful the game exists and shut up. So in honor of being called Mr. Negative for about six years now, I'm just going to start off with the profile picture of this video as Mr. Negative because I'm going to be quite critical of this side quest. Even if it had been relatively easy, which at least for me it was not, uh, you have this, this notion, this um, belief that you can only do one exploration, and you can see I'm at two or four, about to be at three or four. Uh, you can only do one exploration to get this. Now, do I really need a 15th six-star generic? Probably not, but I'll take it. We got spoiled for so long as people who could do threat level five. We just got all the rest of these, a four-star generic class-based, five-star generic, six-star class, and generic. And Kabam realized with the combination of the buffed side quest rewards and the Valiant specifically, six-star guaranteed early access bundles that you can get the six-star guaranteed for a minimum of 100 American dollars plus tax and fees and everything else twice a month when the new champion comes out, except for December when there's only one new champion. Uh, yeah, so suddenly the Awakening Gym market, they tanked. They tanked the Awakening Gym market with this side quest. And so they overcorrected. They gave us one uh, Awakening Gym total, and they made the difficulty stupid hard, especially the Kindred boss. I would take the final boss of Act 8 any day, over that kindred RNG BS. So much. It was confusing, at times almost overwhelming, and to the average summoner I talked to, just not worth the time and the effort. A side quest at its best, something like uh, Mutant Treasure Island, for those of you that have been waiting like me for it to come back forever. It's supposed to be fun and fast and I, I'm not saying relaxing because Kabam wants to make a little money off of it, I'm sure. But it, it should be challenging without being dumb. This was challenging to the point of just being dumb. And I know people are going to say, wow, here comes Mr. Negative again. And I'm not trying to be, but I am trying to be Mr. Honesty about how I feel about this. And I was struggling. And given my skills are not the best, but my roster is a top thousand account roster. And I was struggling like it was an average roster. And I kept thinking, if I'm struggling this much, especially with the reverse controls, what's somebody who's bringing in a five-star or like a middle-rated six-star going to do? Because I don't know. I don't know. I will tell you this. Um, I am one path away, and Domino has been my best friend for this. And that's really what I care about most. Because rank 3 7-star Domino, who's over SIG 100, by the way, makes this fight so much fun. Now, unfortunately, the heavies can make my heart heavy. So the key for me is just to keep doing that. To keep just baiting a special one. Not... A heavy, because that's where you get in trouble in this fight. A special one, and then check this out. That is the best I have ever done on that fight, and I got it on camera. So, yeah, I'll take the uh, the final reward. But they overcorrected on this side quest. I hope to never see this thing again. I hope we never see this side quest again. And I should probably go more in depth about how the the Awakening Gym market was tanked and go into some specifics and some history as to why. Also, whenever I see this replay, I get really annoyed and then I go, oh yeah, I just have to do that. I also think that aspect of it, 6% is not a path, is so dumb. So incredibly dumb. But now I've explored all but one difficulty. 100, 100. Haha. Uh -huh. Nine dipo. Oh. 
But in general, I've got to end on the worst visual. I mean, I guess I'll claim this uh, this generic because I guess this is the big excitement besides the title. <laughs> oh. um, queen, king, knight, or rook. I guess I'll go king. It's so cliche, but I don't know what else I should do. Um, battlegrounds haven't reset. So, you know, I just, whatever, right? Whatever. It doesn't feel worth it. It probably wasn't worth it, but here we are. I hope to never see this side quest again. And we are going to end on this visual because even though we're done with our, our keys and can't even get in, this man will haunt my dreams. I hate fighting this guy so much anyway, but this version of him was just stupid. I restarted so many times. I probably burned an entire full energy refill just by restarting and thought, why is this harder than 8.4? This doesn't make any sense. In some ways, this is harder than Necropolis, at least for me. And if I'm the only one who felt that way, so be it. But at least you know I'm giving you my emotions.